hello friends today i am going to share with you how you can bypass frp lock on galaxy s21 ultra android 12 so first of all we need to select the language then we need to connect our mobile with wi-fi so i am just giving my password over here to connect the wi-fi now you will see phone is bound with gmail id so we need to bypass it for that we need to go back to home screen and here we need to click volume up and power button together as you can see press volume up and power keep press and you will see this message pop-up message so just click on the use button just click on the use button here and now we need to press volume up and power again and as you can see talk back is on now draw inverted l shape on screen and you will see this message just click on the double tap on it use voice command double tap on it and say in my google assistant and you will see the Bixby icon so just wait and here you need to click on sign in and just your give your Samsung ID and password it's not Gmail ID it's the Samsung account so if you don't have Samsung account you can create it so just give your Samsung account and password so it will ask for the verification so you need to verify it with the registered number which you given in the samsung account i just agree and now i will verify it as you can see i got the code so i just put it over here and just need to verify it now just click on the cancel button and just click continue continue again now click on here add three lines my capsules so here you need to find youtube and in case you can't find youtube you need to open directly galaxy store so here it is just click on it and now click show me popular games and it can take a few seconds over here to show you popular games and if it asks for the galaxy store update you need to update it so just click on the continue and now we need to update it just click on the update button and it can take a few minutes depend on your internet speed so just keep calm and sit behind and wait for to finish the update I just make fast forward video for you so we can finish it fast so it can take a few minutes depend on your internet speed so after the update you can see it's went back to the main screen again just click on the show me popular games again and now this time this will be open galaxy store so here we just need to find Alliance Shield X Alliance Shield X just click on it and here you can find Alliance Shield so we just need to download this file I just click on the download button so it can take a few seconds to download it and install it 
as you can see file is just downloading and after installation we just need to open it and you need to have Alliance Shield X account if you don't have you can create it from their website so as you can see app is downloading and installed now we just need to give our username and password over here if you don't know how to create username and password of Alliance Shield X you can watch my video how to create username and password link will be in description so just give permission device admin must be activate next Knox should be activate just wait a little bit continue as you can see Knox license activated so if it not appear you need to turn off your app and turn it on again and this will show you Knox status on so as you can see it's loading still so I just need to go back and try it again to check it's activated or not just wait a little bit Sometimes it takes time and sometimes it comes very fast. So as you can see, just go back, Nox, next, next. As you can see, Nox is now activated. Just click on the finish button, now app manager. So here we need to search for Android setup. space setup click here now click actions for stop wipe app data ok success now go back and search samsung setup wizard click here actions for stop wipe app data ok now need to go back again and search here google play services so just click here google play services action for stop wipe app data ok and that's all now we need to go back and search here samsung setup wizard click here now this time click on activities click on the first link open and now you just need to set up your mobile and this will let you bypass FRP lock now it can take a few minutes over here so you just need to wait it and if this method helpful for you please do subscribe like and share and if you bypass FRB log successfully, please do comment in the comment section with the date and Android version so other people also can get help. You can bypass FRP log on Android 11 or 12 with the latest security patch with this method. I have already tested with many devices. This is perfectly working nowadays. This method will work on all devices which have Android 11, 12 or even Android 9 or 10 so you can use this method on other devices as well so as you can see just click on the OK button now here is the skip button finish and you can see phone is started up successfully there is no FRP lock or Google lock now you can use this mobile freely so you can check its Android version, its model number and security patch as well. So hopefully you like the video and uh, there is one step left. So you just need to go to the settings 
and open developer mode and turn on OEM unlocking and then you need to reset your mobile so just click on the software mm -hmm. seven time build number now go back now you are in developer mode turn on the OEM unlocking now go to the about and reset factory data reset reset your mobile delete all and here you need to give your Samsung account password so just give that and now your phone will be reset and it will come as it is new so you just need to wait to start up your mobile so I just make video fast forward for you so we can finish it fast I just need to set up it and you can see phone is started up successfully and it's perfectly working fine so hopefully you like the video thanks for watching